Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, finally I'm able to fight with 4 Archer Legions, which actually have never happened. And it will be a great test to check it out how actually 4 archers work without long range warfare. Simply because we already know that long range, long range warfare is coming to the game finally. And we will be able to use this amazing uh, uh, seasonal talent which is perfect for archer gameplay, right? Long range warfare means that we are going to have same range as uh, mage players which is uh, already enough for us to have as much fun as possible, right? For example, if only I had um, long range warfare right now, I would be having so much more fun because I would be standing on top of the hill and I would be um, dealing damage with the normal attacks. And generally with the archer gameplay, that's how it works. Main damage de dealers of archer troop types is normal attackers. That's why I think it's a, a great combination, uh, long range warfare with the uh, normal attacker troops, normal attacker hero pairs, and I think it will be pretty, pretty fun, uh, especially archer players who are having more than one archer hero pairs uh, using long range warfare. Maximum amount of uh, merits which I have gotten as a free to play player with the long range warfare was 7 million merits, and I think 7 million merits is enough. Uh, during the war from a tier 4 player whenever you are speaking about the alliance perspective right uh, so far i was able to deal a little bit more backline damage simply because their mage players are run forward and that was the main reason right uh, as always we need to mention that as much seconds as you will be able to deal damage to the backline more and more merits you are going to get unfortunately Infantry players doesn't really give that much merits and in terms of like Which hero pair hero pairs and which troop types are giving you most amount of merits doing during the fight That's of course are mages Especially if you are playing as an archer right because mages has the lowest amount of physical defense and uh, Archers are having highest amount of physical attack. That's why um it's way way better to use archer or mages than anything else honestly right and of course in terms of infantry um simply because infantry has the highest amount of defense and the archers has highest amount of offense uh well infantry for archers it's kind of hard to um take down infantry players that's mainly a mage's job right that's why they are having highest amount of range in the game uh, in terms of my hero pairs, well, it's already well known that my main hero pair is Nico and Kinara. Sinjon and Freygar is like a versatility, supportive with Heart of Kamasi. And you can see the new addition Zaida in, in this. Unfortunately, I was not able to get uh, Magrat. I have tried a couple of times already, but I'm still playing without Magrat. But I got Zaida. I have 5 1 2 2 skill levels on Zaida. But unfortunately, I don't have enough legendary archer artifacts in for me to equip uh, Zaida with the legendary artifact. Yeah, that's why Zaida is having epic artifact on her. And of course, it will be a uh, really, really a lower amount of merits if we are going to compare to legendary artifacts. Offensive ones, um, like especially, right? In general, I think Craig and Thea is going to have more merits because they are having Shadow Blades on themselves, and I think uh, Shadow Blades is much, much better than any other epic artifact, right? Hopefully, I will be able to get better artifacts uh, for my Zaida and in the future Magrot and Zaida, but whatever I have currently, I'm going to try to use it uh, because it will be, I will still have quite some detailed information how this Zaida and uh, in this uh, hero pair actually works even with the uh, epic artifact which i have equipped them currently right uh, sometimes it's totally fine to get targeted on archers because we have a great uh, counter attack damage whenever we are getting targeted and i think uh, so far i managed to stay alive quite a long time but in terms of pure damage i don't think that i had enough time uh, like auto attacking enemy and that's why I think it will have effect on my merit score, right? 
Um, of course, yeah, unfortunately, this infantry player just caught my Syndrome and Freigar. At least I will use my Heart of Gamasi, and yeah, I, I will try my best to move back right now because my archers are getting targeted. Yeah, first death is Syndrome and Freigar. Well, what you can do, you are fighting against tier 5 players, and uh, of course, even if you are not getting targeted, you will be uh, getting a lot of counter attack damage back. That, that's why. You can't always play defensive, sometimes you have to be offensive player also, right? Um, and, and yeah, that's my first time using four legions and it's, it feels quite awkward because of the um, artifact called uh, uh, Torque, which is taunting five or six nearby enemy legions. That's the worst nightmare for every uh, archer player in my opinion, but I'm interested like in terms of power levels and uh, skill levels which i have on my hero does it, uh, it if it will matter whenever i check merit score right because in my opinion nico and kinara should have the highest amount of merits because uh, kinara is my only legendary hero which i have awakened and nico has quite a good levels on its skills right that's why i'm hoping that difference will be shown um, in these fights at least right of course i understand that uh, I'm fighting against tier 5 players and I'm at tier 4, but still I hope that, uh, okay, um, unfortunately my ego just started fighting against Darkling, which is horrible whenever you're fighting, that's the last thing you want to happen actually, but that's fine, we managed to save him and we will be able to deal some more damage to these targets, I guess this guy understands that I'm near and yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, quite soon I will be getting targeted by the enemy. Yeah, sometimes it's even better to only hit infantry players because at least you have some kind of target and at least you are doing anything during the fights. But I think in these fights I'm not kind of expecting yellow merits uh, because generally I, I understand how this fight continues because we are losing, we are having way less uh, troops around the battlefield and yeah that's the main reason why i don't expect to have high amount of merits from these uh, legions right of course i think um zaida and indies should have the lowest amount of merits out of all and after that it should be Sindrion. uh then it should be nico or um Craig, right doesn't really matter um right now i'm trying to be a little bit aggressive because it's already kind of done the whole fighting phase um, we kind of had to move back because we don't have enough uh, troops, enough legions in order for us to keep fighting. That's why whoever has anything right now, which I have like two legions, um, I will try to deal damage to them, right? Of course, it would be much better if I could deal damage to backline, but it is what it is. If I move forward, even for a couple of seconds, you can see what happens, but... Still, even if they are targeting my legion, I'm pretty sure that they are, they are getting at least some kind of counter-attack damage, which sometimes really, really matters, right? If, if we're gonna compare it to tier 5, well, if you are archer tier 5 player, you want enemy to hit you, generally, uh, because you are dealing a huge amount of damage by, by the counter-attack. That's why I like um, archer gameplay, and uh, not only you are strong while you are attacking, you are also really, really strong while you are just getting the damage done by your to yourself, right? Like tanky the damage dealers are always amazing. Uh, well, Craig and Thea was one of my favorite hero pairs um, when I had uh, long range warfare, and I'm expecting same kind of treatment from that hero hero pair, and I hope I'm going to get it right because Craig and Thea was my 20k, 22, 25k uh, merit getters, and hopefully that's how it's going to continue, right? I guess this builder will go down, and I guess these two hero pairs, Nico and Greg, uh, will be able to get the highest amount of merits, and hopefully it will be more than 10k, right? Because you always want to have more than 10k merits during the fights. Uh, yeah, I understand. I will have a lot of hospital bill after the fight because I was using. Uh, multiple hero pairs during the fights but i really hope that um like merits will be fine uh, but at first like I, I i have to mention straight forward that i'm not expecting a lot of merits from zaida and from indies because they really really died super fast and i don't think that uh, it was enough time for them to perform well 
Um, but yes, still, I think uh, Craig and Thea and Nico and Kinara will do it, their job and uh, it will be totally fine. I will have at least a couple of uh, 10k merits or even more, right? Uh, so far, this guy is giving us some free hits. Um, my HP is really low. Uh, as always, I have mentioned, I'm always fighting until the end uh, because I'm fighting against tier 5s, right? I can't run in, in and back town whenever I have low amount of uh, troops because generally whenever you're fighting against tier 5 players you have a lot of um, low HP hero pairs who are on the fight because they just do a lot of counter-attack damage. Yeah, I think um, these two hero pairs have done pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure about others but I'm, like I will try to use Shadow Blades one more time in order to apply as much damage as possible to the enemies and I hopefully these Shadow Blades actually hit them. Uh, this infantry is of course tier 4, that's why he just melted uh, and generally in this season without long range warfare I have been fighting with mages and I had way more uh, success with mages rather than anything else. That's why it was a test, um, testing how I would perform with 4 archers, unfortunately I don't have uh, 4 legendary archer artifacts, hopefully uh, maybe in the future I will be able to get the Galded Bow, which would be epic, but for that, of course, I wish more uh, Magroth than even Galded Bow, right? I will try to make these two hero pair go home, because it's really, really low, and I think it's time for them to just say bye-bye. And yeah, uh, this fight will continue, if it will be some interesting fights, of course, I will try to make more videos about the PvP gameplay of Call of Dragons, right? Um, right now I will check the hospital, uh, and before the fight I had zero, and yeah, I think this is fine, 230k, not not that much if we're gonna consider that we are fighting against tier 5 players, and generally if you are if you are using a couple of hero pairs against tier 5s, you, you are having way, way, way more uh, bill in hospital. Now what's most important, we have to see the merits uh, which we got, and I think this is fine. I, as I mentioned, uh, um, I was hoping that Nico and Kinara would get the highest amount of score, but yeah, Sindrion and Fregar, I'm surprised that Zayda got more than Sindrion. I might even put Earth of Kamasi on Zayda, uh, which will be interesting, right? I will try to test it uh, again. Uh, but still, I think this is a uh, quite a good amount of merits for a free-to-play player who uh, fights against tier 5 players, right? In my opinion, that's totally fine. I will try to like test um, Zayda in, in this Legion, like only that, uh, with the Heart of Kamasi, because I'm really interested how this hero pair is going to perform, uh, because I think I have only Heart of Kamasi as a good artifact in terms of normal attack damage, right? Uh, let's try, let's check how well uh, this hero pair will perform, which is really, really interesting in my opinion. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a Magroth, which I have mentioned before, but uh, I'm trying to find alter alternatives. I have been thinking about um, uh, Zayda with Fragar because both of them are kind of mobility uh, hero pair with normal attack crit, but I think uh, healing uh, buff, which Zayda receives, like 30% healing received, is an amazing skill which we need to utilize, that's why I want to have something with healing with my Zyda. That's why my only choice currently is um, in this and I will try to see uh, with Heart of Kamasi, with Sand Lizard, with Normal Attack build, how good I will be able to perform uh, with this hero pair, right? Because with Epic Artifact having more uh, merits than Syndrome and Fragar, I was pretty surprised, so that's why I want to see <clears throat> what's gonna happen if I will put mm, uh, like legendary artifact on my Zyda, right? Yeah, unfortunately, simply when I were <clears throat> when I were, I'm sorry, when I wanted to test something new, um, fight just stopped. I guess enemy is not moving forward. But yeah, I think uh, that's it um, in terms of video because yeah, I wanted to showcase the uh, Zyda in Indies with with the Heart of Kamasi, but. Yeah, what, that's what we got out of this fight. Um, I will try to record the testing of Zyda and Indis more 
and hopefully guys you liked the video hopefully you understood what, what was the conversation on how many things i spoke um, and uh, i hope you are going to use on your battlefield and pvps right as always if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this game i wish everybody amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other really really soon uh, bye bye and good luck